With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, let's take a question here. The question is, what is the density of wet air with 75% relative humidity at 1 atmospheric pressure and 300 Kelvin? And given is vapor pressure of water is 30 torr and average molar mass of air is 29 gram per mole. Okay, so first if we see what is the relative humidity percentage then relative humidity. So it is as equal to the partial pressure, partial pressure of water upon the vapor pressure of water into 100 okay so from here we can have the value for the partial pressure because the partial pressure will relate to the percentage required and then we can calculate the density of wet air okay so here we are given with the percentage relative humidity and that is 75 so it is, is equal to partial pressure of water upon vapor pressure is also given 30 into 100. So from here we have the value for partial pressure. Partial pressure that is, is equal to 22.5 torr. 22.5 torr. Okay. So and now we can calculate the percentage of water present in the air percentage of water in the air because we need to calculate the density of wet air so that will be equal to partial pressure that is 22.5 upon 760 into 100 okay 760 is the pressure at standard conditions okay in the units that is mmhg okay so here we get the percentage of h2o in air that is is equal to 2.96 okay now density can be calculated with the help of molar mass with the help of molar mass or we can say molecular mass so for that first we will calculate the molecular mass of wet air okay so the molecular mass of wet air how we can calculate first here we have 2.96 into 100 okay uh, sorry 2.96 into 18 okay 18 is the mass of water plus the percentage of h2o in air that is 2.96 plus we are given that the molar mass of air is 29. So here it will be plus 29 into here it will be upon 100 because here it will be 97.04. Now let's see how. Okay, suppose this is our air. Okay, we have 100%. Okay, total 100%. Okay, now here we have 2.96% of water. So the remaining will be of air. So remaining is 97.04. That's what we have substituted here. So from here we get the molecular mass of wet air to be molecular mass of wet air that is as equal to 28.67. 28.67. .67. Now we can calculate the density. So the density will be is equal to density is equal to PM upon RT. Okay, PM upon RT. So here it will be 1 into 28.67 and upon it will be 0 0.0821 into 300. Okay, and here we ha have considered the 1 mole for ideal gas because this equation works for the ideal gases when we have PV is equal to NRT but when we need to calculate the density we have density is equal to PM upon RT. So from here we get that value of density that is, is equal to 1.164 gram per liter. That's our required answer that the density of wet air. So here it matches with the option this is wrong, this is also wrong and this is wrong. It matches with our fourth option that's our correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.